Ach, good evening. Uh, this is a video recorded especially for the winner of this fight stick. His name is uh, Lama. Mr. Lama, first, congratulations on winning uh, the raffle during Monday Night of Fight Kid. Um, I will be uh, mailing this out shortly in the next day or two, and you will have it soon in your possession. The reason I'm making this video is because you will might need some help finalizing the completion of the stick. There is only one thing that you need to do to the stick once you receive it in the mail, good sir. And that is you need to reassemble the joystick shift and the ball. As you can see, I have removed it for shipping purposes in order to make uh, the fight stick fit in a smaller box. This way, I save uh, some money and uh, you guys uh, get a very nice cheap fight stick uh, you know, so that uh, I save money, you guys uh, get more stuff, okay? Anyway, so as soon as you get it in the mail, take it out of the box and uh, turn it upside down. There are some Velcro all around the edges here. You're just very carefully going to pry it open, just like this. Make sure not to, uh, to pry it too, uh, too hard. You might uh, damage the cardboard, see? And then you just open this up. Inside here, of course, you have all of the electronics and everything. Um, this is just a little bit of shipping uh, padding, so you can remove this and discard it, or you can use it uh, to wipe your behind, uh, if you wish, it's, it's clean, pretty much. Inside also you will find the Ziploc bag, which has uh, the joystick uh, shaft and ball, dust washer, and all of the accessories that uh, make it a fully functioning stick, of course, small loose items. Be careful with these items, there are some small things in here that you could very easily lose, so Put this uh, very nice and safe. Also, you'll find that the USB cable is rolled up right in here. All you need to do is you need to stick it in here in the slot right before you close up the stick and you are good to go, okay? Uh, I have the USB cable around uh, the buttons. This way uh, you can pull on it and not worry about uh, ruining anything like uh, the PCB or whatnot. All right, so now that you've done that, we're gonna flip this thing over and move on. Uh, there's only one thing. If you do have, uh, Mr. Lama, if you do have um, a lubrication for joysticks, uh, that would be ideal. Uh, if you do not have any lubricant, um, anything, any type of lubricant that is silicone-based is to pre be preferred. Do not use something like a Vaseline because it is petroleum-based and it will slowly eat away at the plastic, all right? Because this is all plastic parts right here. So, um, there's only one part that really should be lubricated, and that is the plastic part. Here, let's, uh, let's dump all this stuff out here, very carefully, and we'll go through the items that you will need to have in order to, uh, to, dis to assemble this, okay? Uh, very important, you need uh, the spring. You see the spring right here? Um, this is what gives uh, the joystick its spring. And then you have the two spring retainers, which are right here. Um, very easy. One is green and one is black. You see this? Okay. And then you have uh, the very important part. This is the smallest part right here. This is, a, um, this is like a retainer clip. This is the final piece um, that you are going to, uh, to assemble uh, the shift with so that it stays in place. Very important piece. And you will need, in order to put it together, you will need a pair of pliers. It can be any cheap pair of pliers, preferably not, uh, not too smooth. You want it to be rough so you have good grip, okay? But you will need a pair of pliers. I'm not sending this with uh, the stick, so you have to provide your own to uh, make this work, okay? All right, so we're gonna put all this stuff aside over here. And, um, oh, and then of course the final piece is this. This is the part that actually goes straight into the joystick housing and this is the only part that really moves and this is the part that you need to lubricate if you have a lubrication, okay? So, and then of course the dust washer right here. All right, so let's put these pieces apart because the first part that we're going to use is this piece right here. It is like a, it's like a very thick washer. One end is flat and one end is rounded. This part you're going to flip this like this, so the flat part is uh, straight up, and then you're going to drop this straight into the hole, okay? And this is if you have lubrication. If you don't have lubrication, it's okay, man, the fight stick might not be very smooth, you know? 
but um, ideally you want to lubricate either this part or the inside blue part of this plastic, all right? And you can lubricate a little, you can lubricate a lot. If you lubricate a lot, it's just gonna make it messier. So we're gonna drop this right in here, push it through, and then you'll feel here, you'll feel it that it's just kind of sitting there and you can move it around, all right? Um, after this is done, you're now going to drop the, uh, the joystick, uh, the shaft, and the ball. Uh, you're going to drop it straight in like this, straight through, all right? Oh, also, of course, uh, before you do that, you probably want to, to put the, uh, uh, what is this called? You want to put the dust washer in like this, okay? You can remove the ball if you want to, but I've, I've made the ball kind of tight, so you shouldn't have to do that, okay? So now you see here, this is sitting just like this. It's very good, it's very nice. Now what you need to do is you need to flip this over in order to complete the installation. Now you can see how this is going straight through right here, yes? Now we have uh, the final pieces that, uh, that go in here. We have, first you need to uh, put this a black piece right here. You see this black uh, little piece? The, the larger cap needs to go first, all right? So just like we're doing this like this, we're holding like this, the larger piece needs to go down first. The smaller uh, cylinder needs to be facing upward, okay? This is where the spring is going to be catch, all right? This glued right here. Now you do this, you just drop it straight through and you just wiggle it until it's all the way down, okay? And then it's very good, okay? So now you have this good. Now, you take the spring, and you put the spring, just like this, it's very nice. So now you put the spring here. Now it gets a little bit trickier, so now you're gonna have to do a little more work, but no worries. Now you take the green, the green cylinder, you have the big piece cylinder, you have the uh, small piece cylinder. You're going to take, so that the big piece of the cylinder goes over the spring. It's going to catch the spring, and you're now going to have to push down, okay? You see this? Now, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not perfect, so it actually catches right here, but you have to be careful. You have to push it all the way down, you have to wiggle it until the, the large portion of the green, uh, the green thing that we just put in there is what's going to be pushing on the micro switches. So now you can hear. You hear that? That's the green cylinder pushing on, on the micro switch, uh, the leaf switches that are in here, okay? Making the joystick actually register the movements, okay? Now, here is where it gets a little bit tricky. I'm gonna have to stand up for this. Now, because you have to do several things at once, maybe if we have two people to help you, um, you can do that, but it gets a little tight. So what I do is, I take with my, uh, my thumb fingernail, and I push it down, and I hold this down. And in here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a groove inside here. What you want to do is you want to take this uh, retainer clip and you're going to shove it straight in so that it basically goes straight in like this. And this is very hard to do. You cannot, you cannot do it with your finger straight, right? So you're going to push it in so that it's like this. It's holding against. And then you're going to take this like this, your finger like this. And you're going to take your pliers and then you're going to... You might want to make your pliers so that they are they have a bigger jaw, right? Like this. See, like this? You want it to, to have a big jaw, like this. And then you take one end against the, um, against the, uh, the fight stick shaft and the other end against the retainer clip. And then while you're holding it, you, you, might, you might clip yourself, it's okay. You push, you push. Can you see this? You push, you push, push, push. And boom, now it is, ah, oh, wait, it is not in. I failed you. Okay, hold on, let's do that again. See, I told you, it's not, it's not super easy. But see, you want, to, you want it to go into, into the groove, and then you push, 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 there you go. Like this, see? So, you see now what I did, I push the retainer clip. The retainer clip actually expands outward to make it bigger, right? Oh, another beacher. Why is it not working? Have I ruined it? Motherfucker. So anyway, um, let's do this again. Put all these pieces in, back in place. Like this. We put the spring in. We're gonna do this one more time and make sure that this retainer clip actually sits. Hopefully I haven't ruined the retainer clip because that would be very bad. Okay, so you push it down. You make sure that the retainer clip is in the metal grooves. You hold the retainer clip, 
and you push it through like this, all right? And then you make sure that this is down, all right? And then here. Motherfucker, what did I do wrong? Did I ruin this? It's possible that I may have ruined it. Man, that would be very bad. Man, this is going to be a very nice, short, quick, easy video, man. It's not supposed to be a long video like this. Hold on, hold on. One more time. I can do this, man. Sergeyevsky knows this. Come on, baby. Don't fail me now. Like this. Straight in. And... Come on. Come on. Very nice. Come on. Mother beat you, man. There we go. Okay, okay. Here we go. There we go. Is it good? Is it hot? Is it juicy? I think so, yes. Okay. So, I think what I've done is I've actually... I've actually bent this. See how the retainer clip? It's too big now. So, now what I have to do is... I have to push it down. Like this. Make sure. And then I have to... To clamp it tight to make sure it's it's goody goody see like this ah see now it's good it's not going anywhere all right anyway so uh, if you bend it too much you then have to clamp it together but now you see it's good everything is done now you can flip it up now you have this beautiful fight stick see this is no lubrication and you can see that it actually works pretty well without being lubricated because there is a very thin amount of lubrication but if you feel that it begins to get a little um, uh, a little slow you can uh, you can just add a little lubrication but I actually like it the way it is like this this is very good all right so to finalize this we flip it over uh, we have the uh, the cable in place it's very nice we put this uh, this on like this this Sergievsky is patented fight sticky cover is very nice it's beautiful and uh, this is a velcro um, I mean a felt finish that way you put it on your lap it will not slip and slide and boom we're good to go